We farmers are good stewards of land because we know we get what we get from the land. And we're not a one generational thing. My family's five generations and hopefully more. We want this land to stay good, strong, and viable for many, many years to come. I'm Steve Van Dyne. I've been farming almonds for 38 years. So the process of raising a crop of almonds actually starts right after harvest on any given year. We raise just about 1,500 acres of almonds. We average between 2,400 and 2,900 pounds per acre. Our better ranches are doing 3,000 pounds. So harvest wraps up in middle of October. After they go dormant, we give them a pruning and then we fertilize them lightly so that they're ready to come out when spring comes. The blossoms come out, the bees start flying. Shortly after that, the petals fall, the little nutlets start to form. We're irrigating, nurturing. Fourth of July, typically they start splitting the hole. The nut itself starts drying out. And then in uh, middle of August, we start our shaking process. We shake them, we rake them, we pick them up and send them off to Blue Diamond Almond. So Blue Diamond has been supplying almonds to Hershey's for over 100 years. We're a farmer owned cooperative owned by over half of the farmers of California almonds. We're really proud that we're sourcing our almonds from California. We're helping out local farmers, we're supporting the local economy, and it's, it's a really rewarding experience to see firsthand how these farmers take care of their crops and uh, prepare them for, for use by companies like Hershey. We're right in the middle of the Central Valley, and it is truly a Mediterranean climate. Almonds and other tree nuts just uh, thoroughly enjoy this type of climate. With modern farming techniques, the crop has obviously grown to a considerable size now. We grow about 82% of the world's production here in the valley. So we're a significant contributor to the state in employment and in economic activity, um, and obviously producing a wonderful food. So when we look for almond suppliers, we're looking for good manufacturing practices to ensure that they're meeting the quality that we need. Once we get a large enough amount of almonds, we're gonna begin processing them in our main processing line. The main processing line consists of mechanical and electronic equipment. It's going to remove defects, form material, size grade, and sort them by uh, quality. But a favorite thing about working in the almond community are the people that I get to meet. Our employees have a lot of pride and they know when we're making a product for Hershey's, they want to do the best they can because they know one day they might be eating that bar. I think you can be an okay farmer if you don't love it, but if you want to be the best, I think you got to love it. You got to have a passion to do this. I get to be out here in nature I get to witness the bloom when it looks like snow. We get to work as a team to bring the crop in to harvest. I am third generation. My son and daughter are fourth generation. Family is the most important thing to us. And this lifestyle, raising almonds, it's perfect for us. We love it. When I travel around the world, it's a sense of pride when I see almonds going into Hershey products, because I know they came from California, and they could even be the ones right off our specific ranch. And it's with a sense of pride that I see that, because I know we're not just raising a snack, we're raising a food, and we're feeding the world.